Hey guys, DMV Solar Rider back with another video. Today we are at Chesapeake Cycles in Annapolis, Maryland. This is where I got my absolutely beautiful bright red Indian Challenger right over there. And we had to stop in today to get that gas cap replaced. And uh, the great folks here at Chesapeake started working through all these issues that I've experienced with the Challenger so far. Uh, more on that later. But before uh, we get back into the Challenger, we are going to have a, a special event. Because today, we are going to take a 2017 Triumph Bonneville Bobber for a little test ride. This motorcycle is absolutely beautiful. I've always loved it. I always thought it looked fantastic. And if you've watched any of my initial videos, you know that when I decided to buy the Indian Scout, I considered a Triumph instead. And when I rode the Scout, it was just immediately comfortable. Got on the bike, off I went, no problems. This is right after I got my license from the MSF class. All right. It's so little. Well, there you go. Okay, so now we're on it. We got it started. What I was saying was when I decided to buy the Scout, I considered the Bonneville Bobber. And if you've watched my introduction to DMV Solar Rider, you know I had a pretty bad experience with this motorcycle when I was trying to test ride it. As a new rider who had only ridden one real motorcycle, the Indian Scout, on a test ride after the MSF course, I got on this motorcycle. It was parked perpendicular to an exit of a parking lot and the exit was kind of uphill and what I had to do was get on this motorcycle get it powered and underway and make a right turn and that was way too much for my rookie uh, sensibilities <laughs> I immediately started heading right towards the sidewalk dead ahead I couldn't remember all the things I needed to do to just turn the motorcycle and leave the parking lot I panicked grabbed a fistful of front brake and down I went cost myself a thousand dollars of scratch damage to the bike couldn't try riding it again that day Okay, so we're riding. I'm trying to remember what the heck I'm talking about while I'm just riding this awesome little bike. And the point is, I dropped that motorcycle, cost me $1,000, and I couldn't try riding it again that day because, you know, you had to meet with the owner before they'd let you get back on the bike, make sure you know what the heck you're doing, you're not a moron, all of that. And so I had to wait a week to try it again. And by the time I did, you know, I was trying to, I was basically psyching myself up to own a bobber for a week. You know, since I'd already invested a thousand dollars into the bike. And, you know, when that week finally passed by and I could ride it again, I didn't like it. I didn't even get out of the parking lot. I'd spent so much time psyching myself up about it that I just didn't ride it. I just decided I just want my Indian Scout. And MOD did a great job. They took good care of me. The money that I gave them for the bobber, they basically took it off the Scout, which I was grateful for. It was a fun little ride. But anyways, I've been itching to ride this bike ever since. 
and as you know from some of my other test rides I have a lot of trouble with pegs now and shifting without getting my foot caught between the shifter and the peg but it's all good uh, bike's got a, a whole lot of torque it feels great I did not do any research before riding this bike to really know, you know, where you should be revving it when you're shifting and all that stuff. I'm just riding it. It is super far forward. It makes the Scout look like a bagger. Oh, this is so much fun. Seat's pretty hard. Seating position is way forward, super aggressive, at least for yours truly. Bike feels fantastic. It feels so small and light, you know, when you're riding a bagger all day, every day. Bikes like this feel like nothing, man. Whereas when I first started riding, my Indian Scout felt like a monster, like a tank. Couldn't believe I was riding it. Beautiful. I'm in fourth gear, 2800 RPMs. Maybe I should be in third gear, I don't know. Downshift here. Engine braking is a little weak compared to, say, like my Scout. I like an engine braking that really slows you down. There's nowhere to grab the tank with your knees, not really, so you just got to kind of balance here, hold on with your hands, but don't squeeze real tight or your hands will go pretty numb pretty quick. Not much in the way of vibration. There's some vibration in the handlebars. Um, nothing unpleasant or unexpected on a motorcycle. Yeah, that engine braking is not what I would want. maneuverable you know feels fine it's really hard to judge the maneuverability of a smaller bike like this I mean I'm not I'm not gonna lean it over enough where I would scrape anything that's not my thing but you know it's so light compared to my baggers that I just it's it's hard for me to give you an opinion about whether it really is maneuverable or not you know I rode the Harley Sportster and it felt fine to me other people hate it I, I don't know what to tell you Oh, this motorcycle is a lot of fun. Under no circumstances, in this bike, I think this is just stock configuration. I could not imagine riding this bike like on an all-day trip. You know, kind of more like the Sportster. If you're just bopping around town, it'd be a lot of fun. But if you want to go like down Skyline Drive or the Blue Ridge Parkway, probably not the bike you want to do it on. So again, guys, uh, this is just a ride. I'm just telling you how it feels. I'm telling you what comes to mind. I'm no expert. I've only been riding for 15 months. 2019 Indian Scout. 2019 Indian Chieftain. Now on, on my 2020 Indian Challenger. A lot less experience than most people. So I can't really talk to you about the mechanics of motorcycles in a way that makes sense. Wouldn't even try. I can just tell you that it's a lot of fun! <laughs> I 
I mean, this is probably as close to a sport bike as I've ever been. In terms of my seating position, it's it's more far forward than even like the live wire was, and to me, that was a sport bike. In fifth gear, eh, it's all right. Sixth gear, okay, six gears are a tragedy. I can tell you, my Challenger in six gear, you're at 100 miles an hour before you even know what happened. That ain't gonna happen on this motorcycle. Suspension, you know, feels a little rough, a little hard, kind of, I would say, similar to a Scout. I know it's got, like, the mono shock in the back. The Scout has those, uh, I think they're progressive shocks, maybe? They're the kind with the big springs on both sides of the wheel, and they sucked. This doesn't feel so great. You feel bumps in the road. My ass is shaking pretty good. I'll tell you, it's, it's really amazing to, to ride a motorcycle with no fairing after you've spent so many miles uh, behind a, a bagger fairing. Especially in this helmet with this huge field of view. Yeah, again, that engine braking for me, for my preferences, is not getting the job done. Like there's just not a lot of tension there. Doesn't feel like it's really doing much. Which is kind of weird. Front brake doesn't have a lot of bite to it. Rear brake's okay. They're all feel a little spongy to me. I don't know what else to tell you about it. I'm not doing emergency braking. Oh, it's a fun little bike, guys. I mean, there's look of all the motorcycles I've ridden, and, and you've seen them all on my channel, basically, they're all fun. Every single one. I would have a hard time not loving any motorcycle. I, I'm increasingly convinced. I have yet to ride one where I'm like, oh, it'd be an injustice to make me ride this every day. I love them all. They're fun. And they all feel a little different, which is cool. You know, if I had a unlimited budget in a huge garage man I would buy every single one of them well that is it for our 2017 Triumph Bonneville Bobber test ride oh it's a lot of fun I'd love to rent one of these for a day and find some twisties so much fun let's get one more look at this So sweet looking. I love the way the seat just floats in the air like that. It was not that comfortable, but you know, in comparison to something like a Scout, it's fine. I'm a fan, guys. I'm a fan. If you like this video, I'd certainly appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up put my ride and ride related content out every Friday so hit that subscribe button mash that notification bell you'll receive an alert every time I put my new videos out and until next time I appreciate you watching please stay safe out there and I'll see you next week